Hi, I'm Dr. Kathleen Simeo from Hearing Solution Centers in Tulsa, and I am here with a patient of mine to discuss a brand new product to help some people with their hearing aids. Coming right up. Okay, so uh, this is one of my patients. This is Paul, and Paul has come up with something really cool and really interesting. Um, kind of spurred by his own needs, but something to help patients with their hearing aids who have been struggling. So, Paul, why don't you give us an idea, what is the name of the product that you've come up with? Uh, it is called the Hearing Aid Insert Tool. Okay. Uh, you want to show it? Yes. Uh, this Hearing Aid Insert Tool, uh, six months ago I got me a set of hearing aids from Hearing Solutions, and uh, I always had trouble putting them in my ear, you know, I said, there must be a better way. So I come up with this little tool uh, to put your hearing aid in. Uh, first of all, you take your hearing aid like this, hold it on the receiver, and let this fall down like this. There's, and then on this uh, insert tool, there is a slot right there and you put that slot over that and put it like that and it slides your hearing aid into the tool then you rotate it like this so this would be able to put over your ear then you just put it in your ear like that and then you put your your main body over your ear like that then with your other finger Put it on the wire that goes from your bod main body to your receiver, and then that's it. Yeah. So this was something, um, as far as I have seen in the entire industry, we don't have anything like this. So it was really interesting when you first Thanks. approached me with the idea. <laughs> yes. um, and at first, to be honest, I was a little skeptical because I thought, surely someone would have already done something like this. And they really hadn't. So was this something, you know, were you struggling before to get them on? Yeah, so some, some, not to a great extent, but there was, it, sometimes I tried to get it, in, get it in crooked or not deep enough, and yeah, I was having a little bit of trouble. Yeah, so I know with a lot of people nowadays, kind of the trend is actually to go with the kind of hearing aid that goes behind the ear. Yes. It tends to be, you know, more discreet for a lot of people. Um, in general, though, for patients, if they have dexterity issues or yes. a lot of patients are maybe losing feeling in their fingers. Or arthritis. Or arthritis or something like that. Or sometimes people will have tremors in their hands. Yes. Um, sometimes getting that piece over the ear and then getting the other piece in the ear and the fiddle. Yes. It's hard. And so in general, as providers, what we have always done for patients who struggle with that, we just say, oh, well switch to the kind in the ear. Oh. And a lot of people don't want to do that. Right. So this is a really amazing alternative that you've yes, come up you. with. Um, so are you an engineer? Oh, yes. A little bit of an engineer, yes. yeah. Yes. I kind of figured. Um, so one of the things that we had asked when you first came up with this, I said, you know, does it, will it work with other hearing aids? Because there's lots of different makes and models and manufacturers, and they're all a little different. So what have you done for that? Yes, uh, we went and uh, looked at some of the ones like Starkey and some of the others, and we looked, and, and most of them, uh, it will fit. I have other models besides the, the minimum power. I have the low power and the high power, mm -hmm. and each manufacturer has these and uh, this one hits uh, will fit or the ones that fit low power or high power will fit different uh, models of other than resound okay yeah so um 
in our office, we work with lots of different manufacturers. Um, and so, like right now, you are wearing Resound hearing aids, but we did try them with Starkey, and we did Widex, and Unitron, and, and Siemens, and yeah. Signia, lots of different ones. Um, but this is particularly one for the patients who are wearing the kind that goes behind the ear with the wire, and then has the little dome on the end, the rubber dome. Yes. It doesn't work with the custom kind, but typically people who have those custom ones, this isn't really a struggle for them. It just pops right in. Um, but when we had looked at kind of the ideal person for this, it's really anybody who's just wanting to make this process a little bit easier. Yes. So it's really an interesting thing. Yeah. Um, so, Paul, how are, if someone wants this, how would they get it? You, they can get it from you. Yeah, okay, oh. so we do have them in the office. Yes. So you can get them from us. Um, we are in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, so Hearing Solution Centers, you can come by and pick one up. We do have them in the office. But if someone's not in Tulsa, where would they go? Uh, uh, you can go to P&D in uh, Inventions at uh, P.O. Box 581, Coweta, Oklahoma. 74429. Okay, and so um, are, would they just, do you have an email or some contact information? How would they let you know that they want one? Well, I, you can get it through my mail, but, but you can go with my email, which is Paul and Donna, P A U L A N D D O N A at P L D I dot net. Okay, so you're, you'll be happy to mail them out if someone needs that as That's well. That's correct. All right. Well, Paul, I think this is an amazing thing. I am super excited to see patients getting involved in the idea of coming up with products and things to help other patients. I mean, the reality is you can do a ton of research, but if you really want to know where the struggles are, you yeah. go to the people who are having the struggles. That's correct. So it really makes a big difference. So I think this is amazing. And I think for people out there who are having troubles getting right. those hearing aids in their ears, it's going to make a big difference for them. Correct. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right.